Jared and Lindsay here today at Universal Studios Island of Adventure and it is opening day for the Velocicoaster. So we are over here. Don't ignore the fact that we're in the Hogsmeade or the Hogsford Express queue line. We're here to do all things Jurassic Park. It's going to be Jurassic Park day for us. We're going to film as much as we can over there. We're going to try and do all the attractions. Hopefully we get to ride the roller coaster. Hopefully it doesn't turn out like uh, opening day for Hagrid's did or us where we were not able to ride it hoping to get this done so we better hurry up going and get in line before it takes too long but you ready you ready to go brave the heat yeah, um, the harrowing conditions yeah. oh my god I hope we get on this coaster here we go heading back to the line hopefully we did not make the incorrect decision on the way to approach this it's funny because they said when we came into the park that the coaster didn't open until 10 it's about 8 45 right now and we saw it running with people on it and they said it was about a two hour wait to get on the coaster. Bet there's gonna be a lot of people riding this today because it's gonna be 96 and 97 degrees. Yeah. To tell you who's not gonna be riding it though is me. That's my breakfast. <laughs> no time to do anything else. Well, this mm. was gonna be a 10 hour wait. But Actually, I don't think it'll be up to that, but it's already at three hours, so what do you think? You could possibly get up to five, six, maybe. Yeah. There was still a, a line waiting at the door. Not oh. evenly distributed bones, but bones. Not really. <laughs> this isn't so bad. You're in the shade, right? You just told me my sunscreen is melting off of me. <laughs> it was. It was like, it was really weird. It was like beating up and running down your back. <laughs> You'd be all right. Rejected. <laughs> Hey, we did it. We're at the entrance. Oh, they are running single rider. Interesting. I wonder if this... Yeah, wow. So you're going to have to either go through the Discovery Center every time you want to ride this or back down along the far path that runs between uh, Hogsmeade and Jurassic World. I love the little raptor statues. I believe the ride is temporarily paused because they are filming the Today Show right outside the entrance and I'm guessing they don't want any coasters rolling by it, but we should be getting going here again pretty soon. Well, we did it, Lindsay. Not too bad away. I'm not really hungry, but what did you think of the Blossom Coaster? It was incredible. Like, I was blown away. Yeah, it was like really intense. And watch it because we've been watching it a lot. Yeah. You know, do the you know go through with the empty cars right. and stuff. And it didn't look nearly as fast watching no. it as when I was on it. I was like, no. holy crap, this ride's intense. <laughs> but what do you think? Is it your favorite coaster here? I, yeah. Is it your favorite coaster? Yeah. Really? Yeah. More than Steel Vengeance? Yeah. That's tough. Steel Vengeance is good, but it might be really, really it's close. That's a really pretty good. awesome roller coaster. <laughs> Can't wait to ride it again. Well worth the wait. Uh, unless the wait gets me on three hours today. Yeah. And then it might just wait. I'm coming so much. Yeah, I'm feeling really better. Oh, is Lindsay Wizzy? But it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, let's go get you some motion sickness medicine and maybe ride the river ride. So the line is gone. It is no longer wrapped all the way through Jurassic Park and into Toon Lagoon. I don't know what the wait time is. I heard uh, staff members still saying it was three hours, so they probably have just moved the line to where we can't see it. Are you up for another ride or do you need to... If it's a quiet one. 
it's a quiet one. Well, there's a river ride. I suggested that earlier. Or we could try to do the, um, the little teardown flyers. We got a little guy with us. We've got a plus one. I think it's part of our Jurassic Park day. What we're going to do here is something we've never done. We're going to get some crushed pennies. Mostly because this guy wants some and he's not going to let us leave the restroom area until we do. So for the sake of getting on with my day, <laughs> I'm buying three crushed pennies. There we go, we're grinding. There's one penny. Two pennies. Wow, three nice. Jurassic World pennies. Right. Oh, those are very cool. Oh, and it's the Veloci one's the Velocicoaster. Grand opening, 2021. How about that? Uh-huh. Those are very cute. There you go. You got a crushed penny collection going on there, buddy. You happy? Yeah. Man, your day's just been awesome, right? Awesome coaster, free Chiro, and uh, crushed pennies. Yeah, I forgot to mention that they were giving away free Chiros for some reason at the ride exit. Something about the TV show they filmed here today. Oh, is that what it was from? I didn't hear. Yeah, so I didn't catch everything, but it had to do with that. All right, up the path they went to go fly some pteranodon flyers. Maybe I'll try and catch them when they're coming by. There they go. With a nice Kong backdrop. Awesome. Woohoo! All right, now let's go with Jake. Aw, Jay's gonna be disappointed wanted to come up here and explore but they have some of it roped off bummer well there was a couple slides we passed he can go on those slide oh it is <laughs> this place is so check this out Hopefully, it, oh yeah, you can see it, good deal. You can run around in here. It's so cool. They did an amazing job in here. I can't believe we've never brought him in here. Of course, I mean, he's only been here once. I have been back here in Camp Jurassic a few times, but I've never been in this awesome cave. It was right at the exit of the Pterodon Flyers, which I've never ridden before. That was so cute, Lindsay. It was a- It looked such a good ride. Yeah, it was. There's not much that we haven't done here, but that happened to be one of them. One of the things. Or if you're feeling better, maybe you should go on it, but. There is a lot to this cave, too. This is really big. You know, it reminds me a little bit of part of the city museum in St. Louis, Missouri. They've got like a little cave area deep in the bowels of that museum which if you've never seen that museum it's a really unique place to go and see time to get ourselves some jurassic park food we're gonna eat at the thunder falls terrace right here between kong skull island and the river adventure we got an awesome table. Look at that. I don't know why I was worried about finding a table. I forgot they seat you. But we got a spot right by the splash zone so we can watch people getting soaked on the river ride and people taking away trash cans. So we're sitting off by the wall, but this is a look at the inside of the rest of our little domed area. You can kind of see way back there, there's another domed area. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's really cool. It's themed really well to Jurassic Park. I got a rice bowl. What'd you get? I got a chicken and ribs platter to share with JJ. I obviously am not going to eat all that by myself. And then our other son got a turkey leg. Yeah. Loves his turkey, turkey legs. legs. I'm hoping the rice platter won't settle too hard on my stomach. Right? I mean, all the food kind of seemed like that. Kind of like a little bit easier food. Yeah. Makes, you know, different than like a burger or a sandwich, which I love. But sometimes they make me a little bit ill. Right? So I will show this real quick. Here's my chicken bowl. It's a rotisserie chicken, salsa, rice, beans, and plantains, which I think are bananas, so I'm probably not gonna eat those. Chicken and ribs, not bad. And then a giant turkey leg with some fries. Looks like just typical 
theme park turkey leg, but that's what he likes. We're taking a little bit of a break from Islands of Adventure because, man, you're baking the sun over in that park, over here in Universal Studios. We still can continue our Jurassic Park day by heading into the Tribute Store for a look around. Lhasa Coaster, what an awesome roller coaster it was. This room looks just like the queue line. You can got a little bit of Lhasa Coaster footage going on up there. Oh no, Lindsay, you're standing in the middle of a raptor enclosure. Oh, Look at, uh, but don't worry. Yeah, but they, they're they not looking at you. <laughs> they don't care. Got some candles. Those are candles? Yeah, see what some of them smell like. Primeval oh, I jungle. Can smell them from here. Does it smell like humidity. And... No. No, it doesn't. It smells really good. What was that flavor? Or scent? Uh, primal jungle. And it smelled good? No, that's not primal jungle. Primal jungle? Okay, I'm, I don't know, I'm stupid. Don't know what that says. Stegosaurus <laughs> chest probably smells like dung and. No, it doesn't. I mean, is, wouldn't you think that's what's. What is it called? Triceratops trail smells like. Oh. Didn't she dig the yeah. pile of dung? Triceratops poop? In the movie? Yeah. Yeah, she sure did. That smells good. Apparently they've decided that good smelling candles are better than nasty smelling candles. I would Probably agree. Better sellers. It's a baby dinosaur. Are you gonna get that thing? No, you don't need that. <laughs> we are plushied out. You're plushied out? How is that even possible? <laughs> so I think either this room or the raptor enclosure is my favorite. This is like the abandoned wrecked lab. It's got some really cool stuff in there. So I think they put the coolest props in there. Look at this. The little Marasa, Velociraptor egg incubator. Oh, and it says it's actually in the movie Jurassic Park 3. I wonder if they mean that's the actual prop from the movie or just a recreation of prop from the movie. Like, hey, we Jurassic Park 3 had one of these. Not necessarily this one, but one of them. And finally, we're in the final room. We got a Triceratops. You can even, well, you can't actually feed it, but it's supposed to simulate feeding it. They've siliconed that over. Otherwise, can you imagine how crazy people would be going buying that stuff and flinging it around in here? And like the last few tribute stores, got a few little food booths. A couple little treats. I think we're gonna get a jar of dirt there. <laughs> <laughs> These booths are really awesome. They're real simple, but I like them. Very clever. So I'm really tempted to get one of these chocolate eggs because they look so cool with a little chocolate dinosaur in there, but they're $18. Just don't think I can bring myself to do it. We bought a few things, not just one. Here, show them up. Lift them up there. We got a apple. Candy apple. Which looks really cool. We're not sure what that front piece is made out of. Uh, probably chocolate, I don't know. Cool. Right. Show the little, then I'll do this, sorry, your hands full. Pistachio puff, that is made out of chocolate, the little dinosaur. I guess it's got orange cream filling. Yeah. And then of course, we got, which this is what I really wanted. The dirt in the jar. It's called a dig in a jar, but I mean, come on, it's supposed to be dirt. Seen away at my jar of dirt. <laughs> it's got little dinosaur bones in it, too. Just like the ones in my chocolate bar uh, this morning. Yeah. yeah. Breakfast and dinner of champions. You know what it reminds me of? No. It's cauldron cakes, a little bit. Oh, yeah, it looks like the same kind of cake. Yeah, I think the cauldron cake might be a little bit better. But, and richer, like that frosting, because there's so much of it on the top, it's really rich. Oh, okay. This is kind of mixed well enough where it doesn't taste right. kind of rich to me. I've had like three bites of this. You ate, <laughs> you ate a lot of dirt. I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. 
I really like the Jurassic Park area of Islands of Adventure. And with this new coaster, it's become one of the areas in the park that has the most to do. I mean, there's uh, two rides, well, three if you count the Pterodon Flyers, the Camp Jurassic, some pretty good restaurants, the Discovery Center, and games, and the Raptor Encounter. There's quite a bit to do. Unfortunately, it can get pretty congested. There's not really a way to bypass it. I also really like the photo ops that they have here. They've got this one right here, and then they've got a T-Rex in a similar pose going over a Jeep over exiting the Jurassic Park section. Next for us, the Raptor Encounter. I think Lindsay's gonna do this one. It's gonna be great. I got a Jurassic World is now proud to present the Mongo Lionesses, known to the world as Velociraptor. I looked at her. I looked at her. I broke my own. That was on me. I take responsibility. park activity that we need to do. I've been avoiding it all afternoon. I'm not looking forward to it. It's time to ride the river adventure. I hate getting wet. I don't want to get wet. I don't want to get wet. Can I skip this ride? No? No. Now you on the other hand really love this ride, don't you? You're always raving about it when you go on it. <laughs> Good experience. I'm sure it is. I've ridden it once. And I got wet. Decided I didn't like doing it again. What's that? That's all I remember. <laughs> I got out of that pretty much unscathed. Look at like just a little teeny tiny bit of water on the hair. Yeah, you don't look wet at all. No, I, none of us got wet. I guess well, we rode in the second row. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it because the only other time I've ever ridden that, I was in the back. I got drenched, so. Front gets pretty wet too. Do they? The one right in front of us, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know, we went down, I just like ducked and. <laughs> you got squirted by that spitter, didn't ya? I got more wet by the little, is it a Dilophosaur? Is that what I they're called? I think so. Yeah, up top that I did splashing down in the hill. And as you can see, in a second here, when these things come down, yeah. it's playing a ton of water. Yeah, it does. Wait a minute. A little bit shy. Actually, I'm kind of watching it. Look at that second row. See that? The person's hair is pretty much dry, too. I think the other thing is if you're on the edge, you get more wet, too. Because you're getting the, the side edge. splash. Oh, you did? Yeah, you were. Yeah, no, I, I think I just. Okay, got, never I don't mind. Think that second, third row get wet. Interesting. I'm cool with it. <laughs> well, we want to thank you for joining us here today in Jurassic Park Day, or so we've named it, as we rode the Velocicoaster on opening day. So your final thoughts? It was amazing. I cannot wait to ride it again. Yeah, I've been thinking about it all day, trying to figure out if it's my new number one favorite coaster or if it's number two. But I'm going to have to think on it overnight. But everything else we did, amazing. Had an amazing Jurassic Park Day. Here. It was great. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I cannot wait to get back on that coaster. And in the meantime, thanks for watching.